it's been great, you know, and, and to be back at the gardens uh, in front of our uh, supporters and, and playing Newcastle, is uh, we're really looking forward to it. How much of a boost was that to get it at home? Because b- before the game against Tigers, you thought there was a chance of a home semi-final. When it materialised, it must have been a big boost. Yeah, it was. We got the word out that Exeter had, hadn't you know, run, romped away from Bristol, and so we got the word out to the boys with the last six or seven minutes that a couple of extra tries might be handy, and we, we managed to get that. So um, great to be at home. Looking at the team that you've picked, there, there are six changes, but you've kind of stuck with your, your route of making changes so that everyone gets game time. You've got confidence in everyone in the squad, haven't you? I mean, there's some young guys in the squad that'll be a bit frustrated they're not getting a lot of opportunity, and, but, but generally, you know, we, you've got to, I'm convinced that you've got to, you know, you've got to have 30 plus players that you're very confident to put in, the, you know, if people drop out or if their form falls away, they get injured, you're, you're the next guy's ready. So, you know, I, I doubt that we'll pick the same team um, in consecutive weeks at any stage. Just a couple of quick mentions. Kovas Reinach starts, makes his 50th appearance, and then you've got Alex Waller might make 250th off the bench. Just tell us about those two boys. Well, I think kobe has been great uh, for us uh, this year. You know, he was frustrated last year, had a lot of shared game time, but, you know, he's um, he's got Alex Mitchell nipping at his heels, who's been really good for us this year as well, but, you know, he's been, he's been great for us, and so we celebrate his 50, 50 games for him, and uh, Alex Sue Waller is, uh, you know, one of the the modern legends of the club, and you know he'll he'll get through his two hundred fiftieth game in the weekend, and you know he's just a great club man that you know bleeds bleeds Saints, so uh, you know those those sort of guys um, for you are gold in your club. Chris, good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much.